Well, we're back live from Mobile, Alabama, and uh, this really is nervous time because here's what our semifinalists face next. Now, based on interviews earlier in the week, we have prepared some questions. With uh, this help, we're going to learn a little more about our candidates. But this time, the problem is there are millions of viewers in our worldwide audience. They're going to hear the answers, and that's a little harrowing. We're going to begin right now with our first interview with Miss New Jersey. This is Deborah Lee Houston, who's 21 years of age from Rockaway. She's studying marketing at Fairleigh Dickinson University, and uh, you're not the only lucky member of your family. Something else good happened recently, I heard. That's right. I do have a lucky, uh, another lucky member, and that's my grandmother. Um, she was given an instant lottery ticket, and she won $25, and she was put into a million-dollar drawing. And she went down to Trenton, where they were having the drawing, and she really didn't want to be there. And she said, I'm never going to win. And she got there, and she was waiting for them to call the name, and she won. Has it changed your relationship with your grandma? <laughs> no, it hasn't. My grandmother still treats me the same. and It's something that she deserved to get, and I think that we can all work and get things on our own. Tell me what the, uh, the Discover You Network is. This, the, the Discover You Network program is a program that I helped to create, and it's for young people, and it's a motivational program. And it just tells them that we basically have two paths that we can take. We can take the harder one, or we can take the easier one. And I just try to stress that there are a lot of rewards for taking that harder path. Thank you very, very much. Would you join us over there, and we'll check in with you later. That's Miss New Jersey. All right, if you will now, please greet Miss Colorado. This is Debbie James. She's 21 years of age from Denver, an advertising account executive, student at the University of Denver, studying broadcast journalism. you got a very busy schedule, I hear. Yes, I do. Very Outline it for me a bit. Well, I'm a senior at the University of Denver. I'm studying mass communications. And then I also work full-time during the day for a magazine called Colorado Homes and Lifestyles. And with all of this, you've got time to do stunt training? Well, about three years ago, I went through the Universal Stuntman's Association out in L.A. Why? And just for a whim, I've also done some other acting experiences in Denver, so I thought I'd take an opportunity to um, pursue some stunt training and take some horseback riding and high fall training and everything else. You're, you're telling me you enjoyed this? I enjoyed it. Actually, it's, it's very difficult to uh, learn how to take a punch and take a breakable bottle and all the other elements that are involved. All right, fair enough. If you could take maybe one or two adjectives and describe yourself to somebody who didn't know you, what words would you select? I would say, number one, I'm a very motivated person. And secondly, an adjective is a color, which is pink. I'm a very bubbly and, and uh, exciting person, I think. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you. join you over there in just a little bit. That's Miss Colorado. Please say hello to Miss Louisiana. She's 23-year-old Elizabeth Prim from Puma. This is most, pho most photogenic. Now, Elizabeth, did, did I hear that you, you stopped going to school for a little while and now you're back in again? Uh, actually, I graduated six years ago and I've been working for the past six years. And what I plan to do is go to Northwestern University in Natchitoches, Louisiana and pursue my business degree. Now, going back, uh, not that you're an old woman by any means, but you're going to be older than some of the people who are there. Is that an advantage or disadvantage? Actually, I feel the experience that I have acquired through working before I attended college will give me a bit of a, an advantage because I'll have the experience and now I'll just pursue the book knowledge. When you were a little kid, were you good or were you naughty? I was very mischievous, and I think my mother can contest to that. Uh, Any time anything ever broke, everyone looked at Elizabeth <laughs> because they always knew she did it. But uh, I do remember the time whenever uh, I was given my learner's permit to drive, and I remember on my 15th birthday, I was not to get that driver's license until I showed responsibility. And it was at that time that I realized I wanted to be a responsible person so that I could drive to school. Right, now, if you had one extraordinary ability, do you have it now, or is it something you still wish for? Um, I feel like I may, I may have it now. Um, I have the drive and the determination to pursue my goals, and I just can't give up until I achieve them. Thank you very much. We'll join you later over there. All right? That's Miss Louisiana. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Oklahoma, Jill Shefford, who's 20 years of age from Oklahoma City, a junior at Oklahoma City University. Pursuing a career in law for the hearing impaired. Correct, yes, correct. Uh, I don't mean to be impolite. Are you, uh, is your hearing impaired yourself? No, I'm not. In fact, I 
got started in working with hearing impaired children when I was in the fifth grade and worked with a little boy by the name of Tim for two years. And he got me motivated with his patience. He taught me sign language. And from then on, I enjoyed it so much, I kept going throughout, throughout high school. And last semester, I tutored in a classroom with hearing impaired children as part of my curriculum for school. Are you able to sign? Yes, I am. Would you like to send a message to those who uh, would enjoy one? Have you got one in mind? I would love to send a message. Uh, let's see. Just send it out there and the camera will pick it up. Okay. Never give up your dreams. Find them. Make them yours. And all through your life, never let them go. That's a very nice thought for everybody. Thank you very, very much. We'll join you over there. That's Miss Oklahoma. All right, uh, last in this group of five semifinalists, would you greet Miss California, Christina Faust, who's 23 years of age from Los Angeles. She's a student at uh, Moore Park College. Christina, I have what would normally be an impolite question. Were you always beautiful? I know, no. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Well, it's, uh, you can't really answer that. Were you at any one time in your life uh, short, tall, skinny, fat, not, uh, you know, the normal standards? Yes, I have to say that uh, in elementary school I was very heavy. I, <laughs> I was uh, overweight and my self-confidence was, I didn't have very much of it. How, how did you get over that? Um, I joined Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> you went on a strict regimen? I did. I said, you know, I have to do something here. This is getting out of hand. You still have to fight it? Uh, yes, I do. I have to watch my weight very carefully. If you were going to address a group of, uh, and it's a prevalent problem, uh, overweight people, particularly young people, what, would you, what advice would you give them? I would tell them that nothing is impossible to believe in yourself, to like yourself, and to know yourself and you can achieve anything. Good thought. Thank you very much. Would you join the other ladies, please? That's Miss California. Now, five of our young ladies are sort of breathing a sigh of relief, but five are still holding their breath. We've completed half of our interview competition. Thank you, ladies, very much. Courtney. What was this moment like for you last year? Scary. I can remember standing there and just hoping that my face wouldn't shake. I was trying to do my best. <laughs> well, obviously, your best was good enough to be the judge's choice. You are a beautiful Miss USA. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll see you later, Courtney. Well, when we come back, we'll find out how the next five semifinalists impressed this year's judges with their answers.